hydrogen bomb, or the thermonuclear bomb, or the fusion bomb, was created by Dr. Edward Teller. It was first detonated in 1952 on November 1st. Its nickname was Sausage. It weighed over 80 tons. The explosion caused a force of 10 megatons, which is 500 times more powerful than the bomb, atomic bomb dropped in Nagasaki. Sputnik was the first satellite to ever be launched in orbit. It was launched by the Russians on October 4, 1957. At 22.8 inches in diameter, it was approximately the size of a beach ball, or about the size of this tire. It weighed 183.9 pounds and took 98 minutes to orbit the Earth. This started the space race. You will need this helmet to print off the aliens. The Russians' accomplishment frightened the U.S. The U.S. thought the Russians were spying on them using Sputnik. The U.S. decided to make pushes in its education in the science and math departments. They opened NASA on October 1st, 1958. What's your code? Genetic, that is. The structure of a DNA molecule was discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins used X-ray diffractions to show that two strands form the backbone of a DNA molecule. Watson and Crick then used, it, used that information to make models, and then they discovered that the DNA molecule is a double helix. All four of these scientists received the Nobel Prize of 1962. In 1950, Frank McNamara, Alfred Bloomingdale, and Ralph Snyder created the first ever credit card. They named this credit card Diner's Club. The reason they created the credit card is because they were sick of carrying wads of cash around. In the beginning of 1950, only about 200 people had this credit card and they were mostly friends of the creators. Fourteen restaurants in New York City accepted this card. By the end of 1950, about 20,000 people had this card. And it's spread ever since. The Eckerd and Mockley Computer Corporation created the Universal Automatic Computer, or the UNIVAC, in 1951. The UNIVAC helped people realize the computer commercial possibilities because it could store data on a magnetic tape. It could also read and process 7,200 digits every second. The UNIVAC began to get commercial success, but then IBM came into play. IBM released its 650 series in 1954. Also in 1954, fully transistorized computers came into play. They reduced the size of computers dramatically but they are still huge by today's standards. In 1925, Vladimir Zorikin tried to create the first colored TV set. He failed. The idea was revisited in 1946. CBS and RCA competed for the first colored TV set. CBS created the first mechanical colored TV set. In 19... 50. CBS's color system became the standard. In 1951, channels began to be broadcasted in color on the East Coast. RCA then created an electronical TV that was far better. In 1954, colored TV sets were sold. But they weren't exactly bought until 1966 when they started to be bought because of the abundance of colored television shows. Shad, you need to shut that off and get started on your homework now. Mom, just a few more minutes. No, bud. You need to shut it off and get started on your homework now. Fine. Today's TV remote goes all the way back to 1956. It was created by Dr. Robert Adley. But the pure thought 
of a TV remote goes all the way back to 1893 in a U.S. patent. The Zenith Radio Company created the first ever TV remote. It was called the Lazy Bone. It could change channels and turn the TV on and off. But it had a cord, a bulky cord, which caused frequent tripping among consumers. In 1955, Eugene Pulley created the Flashmatic, which would send signals to the four corners of a TV to do whatever command. But on a sunny day, the sunlight would stream through windows or whatever and hit the sensors, which would cause random change channel changes. Who would want that? On June 17, 1950, the first ever organ transplant had taken place on Ruth Tucker, a 49-year-old woman who suffered from a polycystic kidney, the same disease that killed both her mother and sister. Dr. Richard M. Lohr performed this operation at Little Company of Mary Hospital. Time article entitled the story, A Desperate Experiment on a Woman Doomed to Die because both of her kidneys were hopelessly deceased. <laughs>